to start your day off right. Today in L.A., now starting at 4 a.m. It's not what the iPhone was actually designed for, but adult entertainment is now apparently just an app away. The adult video company has found a way to get porn on your Apple iPhone despite the company's restrictions on the triple uh, X applications. NBC4's Gordon Tokamatsu has a story from the newsroom right now. Gordon. Well, Colleen, here's a question for you. Can you put adult content into a game then turn it into an iPhone application? The answer, yes, but you're not going to get Apple's blessing. That is what one Van Nuys porn purveyor tells us, and he is just one of many. Matt Morningwood and his friends have very specific tastes when it comes to technology. Apple fanatics, Mac fanatics, uh, tech geeks, uh, and, and you know, we also like gorgeous women. So when Apple's iPhone became a technological sensation a couple of years ago, the adult web designer decided to combine two of his passions. And we got a nude photo hunt. The result? A web-based application, or app as they're called on your iPhone, that allows adults to play interactive porno video games. So you may ask yourself, is Apple going to make the games available in its iTunes store? And the answer is no. Yeah, it'd be great to have Apple behind us, but uh, let's just use their technology and use their phone, um, you know, for, for what we want. Turns out Pig Visual's app is just one of dozens that Apple will not be greenlighting anytime soon. Tech experts tell us Apple will likely not explain why either. It's not just adult content but also apps that feature slang dictionaries and Google features that have been rejected. Morningwood says he didn't even pitch his idea to Apple because he didn't want to repeat what happened to another company a few weeks ago. Basically, they said, hey, this is our app. You know, bikini models, everything's fine. And then once it was in the app store, I said, all right, start putting hardcore porn through it. Sure enough, we called Apple's spokesman in Silicon Valley to comment on Morningwood's innovation. He said, I don't think we'll be commenting. So this is one porn purveyor who's not endorsed by the mighty Apple, but he's content to be available on your Apple iPhone. Oh, we've got some games here. If you want him. Well, techs, tech experts tell us Apple's got a delicate balancing act when it comes to deciding which apps are acceptable. A bunch of questions come up. Is it family friendly? Does it compete with Apple's business partners? Will it make money for someone? If you don't meet the criteria, you're not going to get into their store. Plain and simple. Colleen, back to you. Okay, I have a question for you, Gordon. How do you keep teenagers from getting into this app? You know, we asked uh, Matt Morningwood that very question, and he said the answer is simple. Don't get them an iPhone. He personally believes an iPhone, now that it has all of these apps and all of this access to the Internet, is like having a computer. And if you leave your teen alone with a computer, you know, you're asking for trouble. And he says that's definitely something all parents should think about. Come on, don't get your teenager an iPhone. That's the answer. There's no kind of restriction or anything other than that. No, there are restrictions, of course. There, there are, uh, you know, like any other page on the Internet, you have an application that you have to fill out, and they don't just give access to anybody. So it's not as easy as just getting onto the website. But he says the bottom line is that parents have to be the guardians here, preventing their children from having access to something that, you know, could tempt them in the wrong direction. Well, sure, we all know that. Now, you can already download, uh, I assume, a porn video on your iPhone uh, in terms of a movie. How is this different? Well, this is different because it's actually interactive games, and uh, it's also an app. So you can get all of this stuff on the Internet if you're in one of their browsers. But having an app, having that little icon there with all of the other icons that represent all of the different apps on your phone, that's something that's fairly new. And he, you know, this company... Uh, expects that there will be some competitors out there very shortly. So apparently this is going to be one of the new things available on your iPhone. I I'm guessing we had to sanitize this just a little bit for the 5 o'clock news, but are we talking about hardcore porn, triple X here? Yes, it is hardcore, triple X porn. No question about it. What we saw and what we couldn't show you is definitely something that, you know, you might want to think twice about uh, giving access to teenagers, for instance. Oh, twice, three times, and, and then some. All right, Gordon Tukamatsu reporting live from the newsroom for us. Thank you. More now on the economy and the best evidence yet that the